Hello YouTube and fellow preppers, I am Jordi Prepper and in today's video we're going to be talking about water. This is the continuation of the booking series of videos. In previous videos we were talking about air quality and in this video and subsequent videos in this video series we're going to be talking about water. It is obviously a big section to cover so this is going to span many videos. In this particular video what we're going to be talking about is measuring the concentration of particulates in the water and what I use and one of the things that I do to help me assess the quality of the water that I'm drinking. Before we start though I'd like to thank you all for watching and subscribing. Please leave comments below if you find these video series helpful. Please let me know what I'm doing right and please let me know what I'm doing wrong. If you do like the video give it a thumbs up and let's crack on then. So in this video we are talking about water so here we go okay guys so here we are in Jordi Prepper's kitchen and what we have here you've just seen me fill up this normal measuring jug with some cold water we have a bourbon glass which I'm going to pour the water into. And then what I use to measure the quality of water, to give me an indication of the quality of the water, is this TDS meter. It's a very simple device but I found it to be very accurate. It has a small display here where it shows the parts per million of the water. And to operate it's very simple, you just take the bottom cap off. In here we have the the two nodes which measure the parts per million of the water. This is the particulates in the water itself. So what we do is just pour the water into the glass here. Switch on the TDS meter. And then we just put it in for about 10 to 15 seconds. Once the reading's settled, press the hold button and then that allows you to remove it from the water and to view the reading. And it says 139 parts per million, which is adequate. Anything over 500 parts per million is considered unsafe for human consumption. So let's now look at it from the warm or the hot water tap. Right guys, so I've just filled up the measuring jug again with water from the hot tap this time. We'll just pour that into the glass and then we'll take a reading. Now before I take the reading, what should happen and what we should see is that the reading is actually higher. And there's the meter 000. zero, zero, zero. Let's put it into the water glass. I'd much rather it had bourbon in rather than water, but I'm showing you water today and not bourbon. I'm not expecting it to be significantly higher, but it should be higher. And the reason for this is that the hot water goes through a much longer route to come out the tap. If you have a boiler, or if you have a combination boiler, then obviously deposits get laid in them. The water held in a tank will start to leach the metal from the tank itself. And it should end up a higher reading, and it has. It says 149 parts per million. And this is obviously something to consider when you're, when you're bugging in, is the quality of the water during stuff hits the fan. The treatment plants may not be working, the water that is coming out of your tap, even though it may look the same, you can't judge the quality of the water just by looking at it. So just having things like this, this meter here will give you at least an indication of what's going on with the water 
if you even suspect that anything is going wrong with it. Obviously, in roll or stuff hits the fan, the you should be looking at the water in a lot more scrutiny, and devices like that can help you. Obviously, if you have any concerns whilst you're in stuff hits the fan, uh, or the grid has gone down, there may not even be water coming out of the tap, but for a short period of time after it has gone down, there may be something coming out of there, which you can use, but as with any sort of water source, you should purify it and filter it and you know boil it if it's particularly bad. What I'm going to be taking you through in the next series of videos is the ways and what I use to filter water and to improve on the quality of the water that I drink. So this has been Jordi Prepper. I hope there's been something in here useful. Maybe something that you hadn't considered about water, even from the same location, such as a tap. You would consider that water would be the same quality from the same source. Um, but this isn't always the case. The, the actual reading that I used to get from this, from my tap water, used to be over 200 parts per million and the local water company actually did something I think there was a few complaints um, myself included who I, I complained and they were doing some works in the area and the quality of the water has actually improved and you've got to remember that that reading should be zero 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 but unfortunately it isn't um, what we do these days though, and the masses do, is trade quality for convenience. So we have the convenience of water coming from a tap, but it's under central control. The quality of the water obviously isn't as good as it can be from other sources. But we have the convenience of just being able to turn the tap on and off so people don't complain. Anyways, this has been Jolly Prepper. And I hope you found something useful in the video and stay safe and be prepared.